If you don't already have it, download the free 90-day trial of Final Cut Pro by clicking the link in the description. Let's get started. In our last sound design video, we went over the basics of sound design in Final Cut. We have just scratched the surface of what capabilities are available in sound design. Expanding audio channels and components. Your timeline clip contains both audio and video. In order to work more efficiently with your audio waveforms, you can expand the audio components of your clip. This allows you to work more precisely with your audio. Right-click the clip, then expand audio components, or Control option s The audio waveform is now expanded in your timeline. Click the audio waveform. In the inspector under audio configuration, Click the pop-up menu to see your audio channel configuration. If the clip is in stereo, you can expand and view the individual audio components in the inspector and timeline. Select dual mono. The individual audio components have been expanded, allowing you to see and edit the left and right audio channels separately. You can listen to the audio of the waveform by selecting a channel and pressing the space bar to play the clip and audio. You can also mute the audio channels from the inspector or timeline. Muting or disabling audio channels. From the inspector, uncheck the box in either one of the individual audio channels to mute the selected track. Mute the entire audio clip by unchecking the master audio waveform checkbox. From the timeline, click on one of the audio tracks. Select clip, then disable or V. Re-enable the clip by pressing the V key. Collapse audio components back by using the keyboard shortcut Control option s Solo clips. To play only one clip at a time, select a clip. Click the solo selected items, or headphone icon, between the audio skimming and snapping icons, or option s Re-enable all clips again by pressing option s Rolls. Clips can have roles assigned to them. Clip roles will help organize clips, enabling you to do more advanced sorting and editing. To see the roles of your clips, select the clip. Then right-click the clip. Select Assign Audio Roles. The default roles for audio are Dialogue, Effects, and Music. A check mark will be next to the role the clip is assigned. The role is also color-coded. To change a clip's role, select the Cave and Win Clips. Right-click, then Assign Audio Roles, then Music, or Control Option M. Verify the clip's role by selecting the clip and viewing the Audio Roles label in the Info Inspector. You can also change roles here. Audio Clips in the Timeline Index. You can do a variety of organizing and searching in the Timeline Index. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will show you the Roles panel of the Timeline Index. Clips that have roles applied to them can be viewed in a variety of ways with the Timeline Index. Click the Index button or Shift-Command-2. Select Roles. Select a lane and move it to the top or bottom. Show Audio Lanes creates lanes for the clips based upon their roles. Focus the timeline on this role. Selecting this button, will minimize all other roles, allowing you to concentrate on the clips in the role lane you selected. Creating a compound clip or audio components. You can create one compound clip by selecting all the clips in the timeline, or Command A. Right click, then New Compound Clip, or Option G. Name your compound clip and click OK. Right click, then Expand Audio Components, or Control Option S. By expanding a compound clip's audio components, you can change the overall volume of the specific compound clip audio roll as you would a regular audio clip. To collapse audio components, right-click, then Collapse Audio Components, or Control Option S. To break apart clip items, select Clip, then Break Apart Clip Items, or Shift-Command-G. Conclusion 
We have covered quite a few topics and techniques in this lesson. There are many ways to edit and organize your audio clips in the timeline as well as the browser. Use the techniques we have shown in these tutorials to craft your sound mix. With any workflow in post-production, maximize your time by organizing your workspace and the clips at the beginning and have an idea on how you want your story to sound. Set yourself up for success by remembering the audio theories and practicing the skills we have introduced in these last two lessons. Plan a project where the audio drives the narrative. Experiment, create, and have fun. If you'd like to learn more about Final Cut Pro, Check out the next tutorial in this series here. And if you're curious about everything Final Cut Pro has to offer, but you still haven't tried it, you can check it out free for 90 days using the link below.